talking of scams, households are going to have to fork out an extra £19 billion on their energy bills. The government is insulting people's intelligence by pretending it's giving them a discount. But it's not. It's a con. A buy now, pay later scheme. A dodgy loan, not a proper plan. He, Mr. Speaker, he, he shakes his head. So l- let me put this in language you might understand. When his donors give him cash to fund his lifestyle and tell him he has to pay it all back later, are they giving him a loan or a discount? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, our, our plan. Our plan to tackle the cost of living is faster, more efficient and more generous than anything uh, that they have set up. Uh, we've, lifted, we've lifted the living wage by record amounts. Uh, we've, cut the, we've cut the effective tax for people on universal credit, Mr Speaker, and we're now setting out a fantastic plan to help people with the cost of energy, Mr Speaker. And, uh, and it, is, it is more generous and more effective than, more generous and more effective than anything Labour have set out. And the only reason we can do it, it's £9.1 billion, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. It's huge sums that we're using to help people across the country. And the only reason we can afford it, Mr. Speaker, is because we have a strong economy, the fastest growing in the G7, as I think I may have pointed out uh, to, the, to the right honourable gentleman last week, and uh, not, not just last year, but this year as well. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister clearly hasn't got the first clue what the Chancellor signed him up to. (laughs) So let me help him out. His plan is to hand billions of pounds of taxpayers' cash to energy companies and then force families to pay it off in instalments for years to come. If If it sounds like he's forcing people to take out a loan, and it looks like he's forcing people to take out a loan, isn't it just forcing people to take out a loan? We are giving people in, uh, in band D council tax, A to D council tax, council tax, houses, council tax valuations across the country, that is 27 million homes, we're giving them the equivalent of a £150 rebate off their council tax. Their offer is for £89, Mr Speaker. Ours is faster, more generous and more effective. And what, and what they would do... And what they were doing, and you know, this is a global problem, Mr. Speaker, caused by the spike in caused by the spike in gas prices. But what they would do is clobber the, the oil and gas companies right now uh, with a with, yes, they, with a with a tax with a tax that would deter investment in gas just when this country needs gas, Mr. Speaker, as we transition to green fuel. It would be totally ridiculous, and it would raise prices for consumers. Mr Speaker, I was always worried that the Prime Minister wasn't one for reading terms and conditions, didn't understand what the Chancellor signed him up to, and he's just confirmed my worst fears. There is an alternative. Order, order. Can I just say, if you want to carry on, carry on outside. I am not having this perpetual noise coming from the front bench. Secretary of State should know better, and I expect better, and I certainly don't need to put up with it anymore. Keir Starmer. Mr Speaker, there is an alternative. He could stand up to his Chancellor, tell him to support families rather than loading them with debt. Tell him to look at those bumper profits of oil and gas giants. Shell's profits up £14 billion this year. BP's profits up £9.5 billion this year. Mr Speaker, every second of the day, they've made £750 extra profit from rising prices. At the same time, households are facing an extra £700 a year on their bills. Why on earth is this government forcing loans on British families when they should be asking those with an unexpected windfall to pay a little more to keep household bills down? The Labour plan would clobber supply. It's an improvement on what I thought he stood for, which was nationalising the energy companies. 
maybe, maybe, he, maybe he's dropped that one now. I, I, I can't tell whether he's dropped that one or not. But, Mr Speaker, what he would be doing, maybe he has, what he would be doing, Mr Speaker, is hitting the energy companies at precisely the moment when we need to encourage them to go for more gas, Mr Speaker, because we need to transition now to, to cleaner fuels. And what this government is providing is £9.1 billion worth of support. It's more generous than anything Labour is offering. And I just repeat my point. The only reason we can do it is because we kept our economy moving in those hard times when they took the wrong decisions. And we, we came out of lockdown in July, Mr Speaker, when he opposed it last year. And we kept going over Christmas and New Year when they opposed it, Mr Speaker. And that's why we have the fastest growing economy in the G7, not just last year, but this year as well, as I never tire of saying. He can bluff and bluster all he likes. The reality is this. On top of the Tory tax rises, on top of the soaring prices, the loan shark Chancellor and his unwitting sidekick have now kicked up a buy now, pay later scheme. It leaves taxpayers in debt, while oil and gas companies say they've got more money than they know what to do with. It's the same old story with this government. Get in a mess, protect their mates and ask working people to pick up the bill. But isn't he worried that everyone can now see that with this Prime Minister and this Chancellor, it's all one big scam and people across the country are paying the price? Mr Speaker, what they can see is a government that is absolutely committed to doing the right thing for the people of this country and, and taking the taking the tough decisions when Labour is calling for us to take the easy way out and spend more taxpayers' money. And, Mr Speaker, it was, it was this government that decided to keep going in July uh, when he wanted uh, to stay in lockdown. We kept going over Christmas and New Year. And, by the way, Mr Speaker, it, it occurs to me uh, that we also were able to use those Brexit freedoms yes. to deliver the fastest boost to work the fastest vaccine vote, yes, Mr Speaker, when he not only voted 48 times, 48 times to go back into the EU, yes he did, uh, but he also voted to stay in the European Medicines Agency, Mr Speaker. And our, plan, our plan for jobs is working, Mr Speaker. Our, our, we have record low youth unemployment. Our plan for the NHS and care is working, Mr Speaker. They have no plan at all, Mr Speaker. Our plan for the country is working. We have a great vision, Mr Speaker, to unite and level up across our country. They have no plan whatever, Mr Speaker. And I say to him, plan beats no plan. We have a great plan for our country. They play politics. Yeah.